Hi, I'm Matteo, editor of this episode of Synthesis Workshop. In today's Research Spotlight episode, we have the pleasure to present the research work of Prahalad Meher from the Indian Institute of Technology in Jodhpur. In this presentation, it will highlight the photoredox alpha relation of glycine derivatives and peptides. Welcome, Prahalad, and thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for the kind introduction and such a privilege to be given this opportunity to present the recently published work from my doctoral research in the Murarkala at IIT Jodhpur. Glycine molecules are fundamental molecules in chemistry and biochemistry due to its simplicity and biological applications. By selectively functionalizing glycine molecules can be crucial in drug design, peptides, engineering and chemical synthesis due to their precision and enhanced properties. They enable targeted modifications in bioactive molecules improving drug stability and catalytic efficiency. So by selectively introducing aryl or alkyl functionality into the glycine molecule is crucial for developing functionalized glycine derivatives with enhanced properties. The coupling of CSP3 carbon center glycine with CSP2 carbon center aryl ring leads to the formation of value added chemical entities CSP3 CSP2 coupled product which are important in terms of biological applications and pharmaceutical importance. Some examples are given here. Moving forward, there are some traditional reports on the coupling of glycine derivative and aryl ring, where basically the reactions were going by in the presence of oxidant or in aerobic conditions. So there is the formation of highly electrophilic aluminium ion as an intermediate which is attacked by electron rich ions. That is why this limits the structural diversity limited to only electron rich ions need of stoichiometry oxidants and not extended to peptide modification. Then we asked ourselves that can we do the cross coupling of CSP3 radical from glycine or peptide with the array ring CSP2 radical by radical pathway which is highly underexplored and this can fix the present challenges for the modification of glycine or peptides. From literature it was reported that glycine molecule in presence of hydroxy group and gamma rays produced alpha amino carbon radical which was first reported in 1962. On the other hand, aryl reagent upon one electron reduction in the presence of copper catalyst generates aryl radical which was first reported in 1884. Their dynamic salt was used as aryl reagent reagent popularly known as Sandmeyer reaction. So we thought that is there any possibility to couple these two generated radicals selectively without affecting other chemical environment of the substrates. But there are many challenges here, like the aryl radicals should be generated in a sustainable manner. As the aryl radicals are very reactive, they can undergo homocoupling or disproportionation process. Other challenges are selectivity and efficiency of this cross-coupling reaction. So by overcoming all these challenges, we developed a protocol where diaryl adenov reagent was taken as the aryl radical precursor as it is cheap, easily accessible, bench stable and easy to handle. In copper catalyzed photoiodized condition for the formation of CSP3 CSP2 cross coupled product. By this method, we have fixed the problems related to side selective aeration of glycine or peptides, which is susceptible to electronically diverse ions like electron rich, electron deficient, and heteroions also. As we are extensively working in hypervalent iodine chemistry, more specifically diaryl adenov reagent, I want to focus on different reactivities of diaryl adenov reagent in organic synthesis. In case of metal free reactions, diaryl adenov reagent in the presence of a nucleophile forms a T shaped intermediate, then the ligand egg coupling between nucleophile and equatorial array ring produces nucleophile array coupling product and iodoiodine as the byproduct. For metal cartilage reaction in presence of a metal, diaryl adenov reagent undergoes oxidative addition and followed by reductive elimination in the presence of nucleophile forms the desired product. Then diaryl adenov reagent participates in two different ways under visible light irradiation. Firstly, in the presence of photocatalyst, diaryl adenov reagent can behave in two ways for the generation of aryl radical. The excited state photocatalyst can give an electron to diaryl adenov reagent to generate aryl radical and forming oxidized state of the photocatalyst, which then comes back to its original state by accepting an electron from a suitable donor. This is called as oxidative quenching pathway. 
In another way, a donor can give an electron to excited state photocatalyst, forming a redu reduced state of the photocatalyst, which then gives an electron to diaryl adenine reagent, generating the rail radical by coming back to its original state. This process is called as reductive quenching. On the other hand, the generation of aryl radical from diaryl adenine reagent can also be possible without photocatalyst under visible light irradiation. Here, diaryl adenine reagent forms an electron donor acceptor complex with an electron rich donor molecule in the ground state. The charge transfer complex characterized by a EV band can absorb visible light in a specific visual region and subsequently undergoes single electron transfer producing two radical ion pairs. Then the radical anion species upon irreversible fragmentation forms a ray radical and ray loaded gives us the living group. Moving forward, we have optimized the site selective relation process. We got maximum 78% yield in the presence of copper acetate 51%, Janfos 21%, phenanthrolin 21%, and 2,6-lutrin 2 equivalent in astronitrile sorbent for 4 hours under nitrogen atmosphere by radiating 414 nanometer blue LEDs. Then we have screened different copper catalysts, ligand, bases, solvents. In all the cases, the reaction outcome was low as compared to the entry number 1. It was also shown that light is required for the reaction and nitrogen atmosphere is crucial to carry out this transformation. Then we screened surface scope of the site selective aeration process. Initially, we varied the scope of glycine derivatives where electron rich and electron deficient aryl rings of n aryl substituents were well tolerated and giving their desired products in moderate to good yields. However, the eastern part of the glycine was varied with amide and ketone functional groups which were well accommodated in the reaction medium. Then we explored the scope of diaryl adenine reagent. Here various electronically diverse electron rich and electron deficient ortho meta para substituted diaryl adenine reagents underwent smooth transformation giving their corresponding products in moderate to good yields. Importantly, heteroarins like indol and bioactive molecule like gemfibrosyl containing diaryl adenine reagents well participated in the reaction medium. After observing all these results, then we tested different peptide derivatives from dipeptide to polypeptide in the reaction. Teasingly, a variety of glycine derived dipeptide, tripeptide, and polypeptides with functionally orchestrated side chains underwent side selective relation at the alpha position of glycine carbonyl to afford corresponding cross couple products in moderate to good yields while preserving the integrity of other amino residues. Interestingly, the method allowed peptide drug biconjugation between polypeptide and gemfibrosyl, thereby providing a novel approach for the discovery of peptide based drug molecules. After establishing the site selective relation process, then we thought that can we apply the generated array radical for further modification. To apply the aryl radical generated from diaryl adenine reagent, after generating aryl radical in the copper photoelectric condition, the aryl radical can undergo halogen atom transfer with the alkyl halides by generating alkyl radical by aryl radical mediated jad process. After generating the alkyl radical, it can undergo radical radical cross coupling with the alpha carbon radical from glycine or peptide derivatives, forming CSP3 CSP3 couple product. Here, alkyl avdates were used as the alkyl sorbate. Then we explore the scope of JART method. Delightfully electronically diverse glycine derivatives and diverse range of acyclic and cyclic secondary or primary alkyl aldehydes were well accommodated in this transformation, leading to their corresponding products in moderate to excellent yields. Biologically active alkyl aldehyde derivative like cholesterol was also well participated in this reaction. Finally, we extended this method to the site selective alpha alkylation of dipeptide, tripeptide, and long chain peptides. In all the cases, the reaction worked well and delivered the corresponding glycine selective alkylated products in moderate to good yields. To assess the scalability and industrial prospects of the method, we have done gram scale synthesis of pyrene alpha related glycine molecule and got 71% yield. Furthermore, we have done recycling of released iodoarene for the sustainability point of view. Moreover, the methoxy group substituted NRA rings were easily removed in the presence of ceric ammonium nitrate to provide alpha phenyl glycinate, thereby further modification of synthesized compounds. 
then we did some mechanistic assessment to understand the reaction mechanism the reaction is going by radical pathway which was proved by using tempo and ethane dye benzene as the radical scavenger trace to no product formation and by detecting radical trapping adducts with the help of hrms provided evidence for the formation of rl radical also trapping of alpha carbon present in glycine confirmed that in the involvement of glycine derived radical in this reaction from light on experiment it showed that constant irradiation was crucial for the reaction we have done the quantum yield calculation and got 0.291 value which showed that radical chain mechanism was absent in this case then we did radical trapping experiment in case of jet process here also we trapped the alkyl radical by employing tempo as the radical scavenger also the formation of homocouple product of glycine showed that the presence of glycine derived radical in the reaction mechanism from radical clock experiment it was confirmed that the involvement of alkyl radical in shared jet mediator csp3 csp3 radical radical cross coupling reaction to better understand the interaction between copper and ligands we did some control experiments the reaction did not work well without xanthose and phenanthrene ligands suggesting that in situ generated heteroleptic copper complex serves as the photosensitizer when the reaction was performed with a preformed copper complex a similar reactivity to that of in situ generated copper complex was observed in entry number 6 additionally hrms analysis of the reaction mixture indicated the presence of copper complex from eb visible absorption study it was observed that by combining copper state xanthose phenanthrolin a strong band was obtained in the visible region which can absorb the visible light to carry out the reaction the ev visible absorption spectrum of preformed copper complex was found to be consistent with the in situ generated copper complex from the stall formal plot it was confirmed that the excited state copper complex was quenched by diiral adenine reagent and the reaction was going by oxidative quenching pathway by considering all the contrastments then we proposed the suitable mechanism of the reaction initially in situ generated copper one complex gets excited upon irradiation of blue led which then undergoes single electron transfer with diiral iodine reagent forming a rl radical and copper two species then the copper two species receives an electron from glycine derivatives comes back to its original copper one state and generating nitrogen radical cation of the glycine derivative which then forms the alpha amino carbon radical in the presence of a base finally persistent radical effect driven csp3 csp2 radical radical cross coupling between a and c delivers the desired cross coupled related product d Alternatively the generated aryl radical could act as jet mediator in the presence of alkyl iodide generates alkyl radical by abstracting iodine atom from alkyl iodide then by csp3 csp3 cross coupling between e and c produces alpha alkyl iodide product in conclusion we developed side selective csp3 as aryllation of glycine derivatives using diiral iodine reagent the method was extended to short chain and long chain peptides This process is going by the cross coupling of CSP3 alpha amino carbon radical and CSP2 aryl radical from diiral iodine reagent. On the other hand, we also disclosed a unique photoinduced copper catalyzed shared jet strategy for the site selective alkylation of glycines and peptides by cross coupling between CSP3 alpha amino carbon radical and CSP3 alkyl radical from alkyl iodide using diiral iodine reagent as the jet mediator. The method exhibited broad scope which was demonstrated by 73 examples to assess diverse range of aryllated and alkylated glycine derivatives and peptides. At last I would I would like to express my sincere gratitude to my supervisor Dr. Sandeep Murarka for all the help and support. I want to thank all the co-workers and my lab mates for their support. Thank you so much for your kind attention and I will be happy to know if you have any questions. Thank you so much. Thank you Prahalad for the nice talk and thank you all for watching this video. See you next time.